guys, so I'm back again to talk to you and this is going to be for a book review of a book that I recently read that kind of wrecked me but I really enjoyed. So I mean, the book is Lady Helen and the Dark Days Pact by Alison Goodman. I really enjoyed this sequel. Like the first book, it was a bit hard to get into just because it's kind of a bit boring with so much description but by the end of that book I really enjoyed it. So going into the second book it was a much easier read. I was used to the writing style and how much description and just like the story was so good and like oh my god so many things happened and I'm like dying. I'm so dying, but I really enjoyed this book. And before I get into the video, there will be spoilers because one, this book is a sequel, so there'll be things from the first book in this video. Even though I never made a book review for the first book, there's still going to be spoilers. And also because there's some things I do want to talk about that happened in this book because, like, damn. But anyway, let's get into the video. So this book pretty much left off where the last one ended with, like, Lord Castleton and Lady Helen having their weird bonding thing where they kiss and they have, like, the power surged into them and then Lady Helen getting cast out for being there kissing a man and doing all this stuff. And her life is going pretty okay, like she's starting to learn how to be a good reclaimer and she's learning everything about the deceivers and what she has to do when Lord Castleman's being a jerk because he's not talking to her really and just everything's sort of being pretty chill. Then the Lord of Selburn comes in being a really annoying prick. I hate him so much. I'm just gonna say that in a moment, I hate him. Just... I can't stand him but everything seems to be going pretty well and then stuff sort of starts happening like this book is so slow slow paced that you don't really get many big reveals like there's one at the end of the book that was kind of like what the hell is going on but most of it is really not that big like things sort of happen and it's a lot of day by day by day and you get a lot of description of what happens during days so if you're not into boring Regency books you probably don't want to read this but it's really good but just saying if you are watching this video you probably have read this book so I probably don't need to say that I'm always like the a bit stupid you don't need to say this stuff but I was really enjoying where the book went I feel like the pace was pretty good like there were, as I was saying there was not a huge amount of reveals but it was still very well paced and stuff was getting like everything was kind of working together so when everything did go down it was like holy shit what's going on but I really enjoyed it <laughs> I love Lady Helen. She is so awesome. And I love the fact, too, that she knows that she doesn't, like, know what she's doing. Like, like she learned about being a reclaimer from the Queen and Lord Castleton, and she's learning all this stuff, and she doesn't know what she wants to do. And there was moments where she was going to quit and use an escape clause to get out of it and not be a part of everything. But then she decided to stay, and there's so much that she has to learn and overcome, and it's just so interesting watching that growth with her. And then she gets down with this thing with Pike, where he puts her into the club but then he's like yeah so you're part of the dark days club but now you have to do everything I say and I'm like pike yes hell something wrong with you but I think it was really nice that Helen is so loyal so she's never gonna do anything against what people are gonna say so she was gonna follow pike even though she didn't want to but I do love that she had Mr. Hammond in on it with her and they were talking and discussing and then you find out that Mr. Hammond is actually a sodomite and I was like felt so bad for him because in that time it is wrong like everyone thinks it's disgusting and you get killed for it but in my time it's not wrong it's a normal thing to have people who are gay so to see how sad he is that he has to hide it all the time and how disgusting people act to him and all the jokes that people say was just so hard to read like it's so sad like I have people my family who are and I've grown up with it so it's never been any way wrong to me but it's just so sad reading it in this book where it's like that so it was really lovely but Mr. Hammond was like um do we want to talk about the other thing and Helen's like I agree with your sister and that there's nothing wrong with you and I was just like oh my god just Lady Helen like man like their friendship solidified in that moment like he was just so relieved and happy that there was another person who knew about it that didn't judge him and I'm just like I love, I love their relationship. I've gone on a tangent here. I was talking about Lady Helen, but I really love her relationship with Mr. Hammond and they confide in each other so much and it's just so adorably nice to see. But I really do like it though with Lady Helen is with her training and everything. She was getting her strength better. She was getting ready to have Darby also, who is Lady Helen's maid, is doing the terrain, terrain bond. Um, terrain bond, like it's a bond that they have between them where when the reclaimer takes the darkness, they then need to have someone to help get the darkness of them by going to the ground. Like, I feel like this book is very confusing sometimes with stuff that happens. Like, I'm always trying to, like, talk it in my head where I'm like, yeah, and then you got this and this happens and blah, 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 blah. But 
yeah, I really like their bond as well, and it was really great too. But the thing with like Lady Helen is because she's a lady, she can't just go around to like pubs or prostitute houses or do whatever to find the demon. So she has to learn how to be how to be a man. So she has to get the clothes, she has to learn the walk, learn the talk, and it was so interesting watching like this happen and then having her like walk around in pants and everyone being like, I can see your face. Girl. Like it's just so funny and I loved the description of how they dress saying that like with the men's shirt is there like extra lungs that they can like roll up the um, material and put it between their legs to keep their like junk and stuff up in there and it was just so funny with Jalby saying that's where they keep their um parts and Lady Helen's like they're what and just they're just so funny together and how she's like I only ever have a bit of cloth between my legs when I'm on my cycles and I'm just like that's right it's easier for women but saying that it's so much stuff goes into like actually getting like men's clothing on and like then they got to put the pants on and then they got to put the vest on and then they got a jacket and she can't get it off herself and there was a really great scene with Lord Carlson where she's like I need I can't get my jacket off and then he's like can I and it's just like so sexual tension in that moment when he's like pulling it off and she's just like oh my god and he's like oh my god and I'm like oh. like I just I'll get to them but like so good. I really think Lady Helen is a great character and she just does so well in this book. I love Lord Castledon but he was so grubby and angry this book that it made me sad. Like I'm just wanting to be happy again but there's so much weighing him down and also with the fact that when the thing happened in the last book where the darkness merged and then it went somewhere it's still in him and every time Lady Helen's near him is that he gets worse and worse and worse and like goes crazy because with the reclaimers with the vestibule energy that goes into their soul and if they have too much of it it makes them go crazy so the fact that Lady Helen's always near him is it's like making that go quicker and what happens a lot is reclaimers use women to put the darkness into them and make them crazy to make the other the men feel better and it's really stupid because it's just sexist sexist people are so sexist like literally it's so annoying for Lady Helen that everyone just wants to protect her like she's meant to be the reclaimer and no one will let her do anything and they all they care about is keeping her safe and it's like oh I hate you sexist men and just uh, uh, I just Ugh. It's so hard reading it when like society is so good now in that sense with the um, gay and the women's rights. Like it's just so great now and so shit back then. So yeah. But he starts going crazy and he ends up, he kills like a few people and he goes crazy and he's trying to hurt everyone. I loved it when he like tried to hurt Selburn though because I'm like yes, kill that guy. Kill him. But he went really crazy this book, so in the end was quite crazy. When Mr. Pike wanting to find, I'm looking at the word here, I suck at like remembering words, but when Mr. Pike is when he wanted to find Benchley's novel, which actually is a lig artist, and using that because it has like a lot of information, but it's also part of making the three, the, you need the three pieces, like you had Lady Helen's um, watch, the like Lee Lee Le Lee and Lee Artis and something that the Dark Days Club has hidden somewhere. You need those three things and then you open the doors of hell and like you can kill all the reclaimers with that. Like Mr. Park wanted to find it and then when they discovered that they needed this book to make Lord Carlson better and then you also find out that like it's always been prophesied that you need a grand reclaimer to be able to defeat the grand deceiver and you actually find that it's two people so Lady Helen and Lord Castledon bond and then he becomes not crazy anymore and then Lady Helen becomes like the thingy with all the information and the blood magic the like I guess lig 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 ages I just why can't words just be normal just just normal but then they're bonded and now they feel everything the same and he loves her now and I just can't like just but it was so cool when that happened and they finally got him better and now we know that there's actually going to be two grand deceivers and everything's going on but like I really liked his character at by the end like it was weird seeing him go crazy and when Lady Helen figured out it was her and like how from the beginning they had like this real spark happening with them like I love their relationship like in the first book I was just like get together but he has his wife Elise who went missing but they all think she's dead and you have to wait seven years until she's not but she's actually is alive so he's gonna go find his wife and then Lady Helen's gonna marry Lord Selburn but prick but I really like their relationship growth like because of this bond that they had in the first book it starts growing and every time they touch like they feel something and then that's what drives all castle and crazy but I love how he's growing and then there's a moment where he's just like my love and then later on he's like through the darkness the only things I remember is when I tried to hurt this do this and when I called you my love and I meant it then and I meant it and he was about to say that like I meant it now and then Lady Helen's like no we can't do this you have a wife and I have the but I'm just so sad in that movie because she leaves and they're gonna get married and I'm just like oh, 
I can't do this. Like, it's such a slow burning relationship. And the first book, it was slow burning. In this book, Lord Castledon has just admitted that he loves her. Like, Lady Helen, we're in her head, so we know how she feels. But finally, he just is like, I love you. And I'm just like, oh my god, I need the next book now. I need the next book now. Like, oh my god. And also, I was talking with one of my friends on Instagram, like, we loved this book and we were talking about all our theories, and one of the theories we have is that Selburn is one of the half of the Grand Deceiver, and I think this is true, like, I wasn't really picking up much of a vibe, the other thing, like, he annoys me because, like, he wanted to marry Lady Helen in the last book and then she turned him down, and then he's come here and he's like, I'm not giving up, and I'm like, you better, because literally, he just keeps popping up everywhere, like, when he finds out about the Dark Days Club, well, he finds out about all this weird stuff, he goes to Mr. Pike and asks him about it and gets himself in, and he's like, I'm gonna be your aide now, Lady Helen, so I'll always be with you, and she's just like go away, I don't want you near me, and like, I hate it because she's meant to be the one who's fighting and he doesn't let her do anything, like, it's just so annoying, like, every time something happened, you see, he was there, he just came, so I feel like he's gonna be something because he's always there and he's, like, annoyed because, like, Lord Castledon and Selburn don't like each other because they both wanted to be with Elise and then Elise chose to marry Lord Castledon and she's a French spy anyway, so I'm hoping that it's, like, Elise and Selburn that are the Grand Deceiver because then they can go die and then if he's a Grand Deceiver, he doesn't want her to do anything, but it's just like, oh, I hate him so much. My god, I just, I can't in this book. Like, I'm just so anxious for the next book because of all this shit that's going on, and I just can't. And I just feel like he's gonna break everything. And like, I did like it though when like Lord Carlson was like bashing the crap out of him because I'm like, yes, kill him. <laughs> And you know another thing I just want to say to us, I love that like everyone is in love with Lord Castleton, like, and, like Margaret's in love with him, Mr. Hammond's in love with him, Lady Mary's in love with him, and like he just doesn't do anything, like I love that everyone is just, he's, like everyone loves him, it's the best thing, I love him too, but I think even Delilah loves him, like she is another character that was introduced to become, that becomes Lady Helen's maid, like I mean I know she, she like, she's there because like her husband, that she ran off with what she was going to elope but then he like exploded because he was a deceiver and then everything went down and she lost all her honor and everything but I think there's something up with her too like I mean she was being really weird around Selburn she could even be one part of the grand deceiver but she, I feel like she's probably a deceiver somehow but just adding that in there like I just there's so many characters in this that are so just unlikable but it's like Lady Helen, Mr. Hammond and Lord Castleton are the best. Everyone else is annoying, like, to be honest. Everyone is annoying, but I really love to, like, there's so many locations in this book, and it's, like, great to the plot. Like, Alison Goodman researched so much in this book, and that even made the book better. And she researches all the correct etiquette and all the great stuff you meant to do, and it's just, it's so good. I have so many feels. I have so many feels. I don't even, I can't. And, like, with Pike, he's so annoying because his wife is, like, an unreclaimed, so that means that she, like, someone could, like, go into her body and become a deceiver. Like, that's what happens is the deceivers, they can't, like, stay alive forever, so they keep having new babies and then they, like, transfer themselves into their children so that they can keep going on. But it kills their child, so they, the body becomes a shell and the child dies, but they are in the body. So, Mr. Pike's wife was like this and it was just and it's so annoying because like he's acting all high and mighty when his wife is someone who shouldn't be and that's another thing I hate too is like the Dark Days Club they're like reclaimers and terrains aren't allowed to have love and marry anyone because it's against the laws and Pike has a bloody wife and I'm just like oh my god mate it's just everything is so annoying but I do hope that Lady Helen does end up helping her because that's what reclaimers do is they help the unreclaimed and bring their souls back so then deceivers can't go into these bodies so I hope she's able to help this person but <sighs> everything in this book was so good but so heartbreaking at the same time I don't I think I'm just not even making correct thoughts at the moment but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed my review and liked this book as much as I did because it was so good so good but anyway guys thanks for watching and I'll see you later bye